So hi everyone. Um, today I am wearing red and a lot of gold because it is Lunar New Year today. So happy Lunar New Year. It is the year of the water tiger representing strength, bravery and dispelling evil, but also with a focus on taking action. So I hope you all have a very prosperous year and find the strength and bravery to take actions that you need to clear any negativity out of your life and stay happy and healthy. With that said, let's go ahead and take a trip to Hiroshima Prefecture. So we often hear about Kyoto and Hyogo as famous sake producers rich with history and long-standing breweries. But I think Hiroshima is often forgotten. Sake brewing in Hiroshima is, um, it actually spans from medieval days uh, all the way up to the present, of course. And it was home to famous figures like Senzaburo Miura and Richi Satake whose in achievements have helped develop and improve the sake making world. And you'll find out a little bit more in our presentation. But specifically, we're going to be visiting Kamotsuru in Saijo town of Higashi Hiroshima. So we'll start the, um, our program today with two short videos, one of what a day in, um, what a day trip to Kamotsuru would look like, and then one introducing Kamotsuru. We're also going to follow that up with a more in-detailed PowerPoint presentation and then a live brewery tour of Kuda number no. eight or brewery number no. eight. And you will and you guys all know the drill. We will have a Q&A. So before we get into that planned programming, um, let's go ahead and start with some introductions. So as you know, my name is Ida Vong. I am a sake specialist for Sake School of America Mutual Trading. And first up to bat. <laughs> is going to be Toshio Ueno. So he is the co-founder of Sake School of America. He's also the lead instructor. And when he's not teaching, you can find him jet-setting around the world as a judge for sake and spirits competitions. Ueno-san always asks some really great questions and helps clarify some trickier subjects for us. Uh, we also have Kaoru Tomoyoshi. So Kaoru-san is a professional sake promoter, and she's also been a tour guide for quite some time. She's very familiar with sake and sake brewing and is a fantastic translator. So she's the perfect person to co-lead our session today. Uh, we also have our other co-leader for today, which is Kobayashi-san, so Nobutaka Kobayashi. He will be explaining the slides in Japanese for us. And Kobayashi-san is part of the sales division over at the Tokyo branch of Kamotsuru. And um, the next two introductions go together. So our guest of honor today is Koichiro Okinaga. He is the chief brewer or toji of Kuda number no. eight. So Okinaga toji will be guiding us on our tour of the brewery and answering questions later today. He is also joined by Yumi Shintani-san. So she is part of Kamotsuru's public relation division and has been really kind and really helpful during the planning of this webinar. So she'll be assisting Okinaga Toji in the brewery by filming and assisting with answers to some questions. Um, Shintani-san and Okinaga Toji, did you want to say hello? Hi, hello everyone. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> <laughs> so they're outside the brewery right now. <laughs> so I am Yumi Kitani. I am in charge of public relations. But today I am an assistant of today's tour. So we are so excited to show our brewery to you. So he is Master Brewer Okinaga. えっと、鴨鶴酒造を登場しております。沖永です。本日はよろしくお願いいたします。So, uh, let's get started. So, see you later. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> so, they just introduced themselves for us and we're going to be seeing them later during the brewery tour. But let's go ahead and get started with those first two videos that we talked about. So Kaoru-san actually did a day trip to Kamotsuru and she filmed her little journey for us. So let me go ahead and let's try to share my screen with the sound. There we go. All right, let's go. Hello, it's Kaoru. I'm on my way to Hiroshima to visit Kamotsuru Sake Brewery. Let's hop in the Shinkansen train now.
So that was kind of like a sneak peek of the brewery tour that will be on later. Um, so a really, really cool day trip video. Thank you, Kaoru-san, for that. Um, it also does show you what it would be like during the sake brewing season. Um, currently, they're off season. So when we do see the brewery, you won't really see anybody working or any rice. So that was kind of like a nice um, during the season view as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next video, a kind of brand introduction to Kamotsuru. Let me go ahead and share my screen again. All right. の中に心ありとかまあ僕らの中ではよくね言われてるんですけど一つの鏡ですよねそれだけ真摯に酒造りにやればお酒にも現れてるよ お酒の中にその気持ちが思いっきり現れてる。一位になるんだとか、いいお酒を作るんだとか願わなければならない。やっぱりこの貨物の味を受け継いでいくっていうことがまず一番の。Okay, so another great video, um, giving you a little bit more insight into Kamotsuru and their philosophy and views. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the presentation. So Kobayashi-san and Tomoyoshi-san, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hello everyone, minasan konnichiwa. Kamotsuru no sales no Kobayashi desu. Hello, uh, welcome to Kamotsuru webinar. I'm Kobayashi from Sales Division of Kamotsuru Tokyo Branch. Thanks for joining us today. それではカモツルのスライドで説明を始めたいと思います。Let us begin our PowerPoint presentation of Kamotsuru. え、カモツルの会社の経営理念は価値あるそして安心安全なお酒をお届けすることを通じて日本文化を守り育てお客様の心豊かな生活に貢献することです。First, our company philosophy is to contribute to the customer's quality of life and to preserve and develop Japanese culture by providing high quality sake. え、会社の社税は品質第一主義です。
our motto is quality first. えー、写真は、えー、現在の社長の藤原明典です。The picture is our current president, 秋藤原、えー、カモツル、ね、の名前の由来ですけども、えー、カモというのは2つの意味があります。Our brand name, カモツル、consists of two, two things: カモアンドツル。The カモ in カモツル has two meanings. 東広島市西条町、会社のあるところは以前、鴨郡西条町という地名でしたので、鴨鶴の鴨はこの地名の鴨とお酒を作る意味で使う鴨酢から付けられました。鴨 stands for 鴨 county, the old name of the brewery's birthplace, but it also stands for 鴨酢 which means to brew in Japanese. えー、鶴は鳥の鶴で、えー、長寿のシンボルでもあります。鶴 means crane, which is a symbol of longevity in Japanese culture.、えー、平時と酒造機で変わりますけども、えー、大体100名前後のスタッフが会社に在籍しております。The number of employees changes depending upon the seasons, but we usually have around 100 employees. えー、本社と製造グラは、えー、広島県東広島市西条町に、えー、とあと東京に、えー、支社がございます。Our head office is located in 西条広島 prefecture.We also have a branch office in Tokyo. えー、会社の歴史ですけども、えー、1873年に、えー、貨物部と命名したところから始まります。カモツルは e s t a b l i s h e d in 1873。年にはアメリカ本土への輸出も開始しました。In 1903, we started shipping to North America。1958年には銀醸や大銀醸といった言葉もない時代に、今でいう大銀醸クラスのお酒。大銀蔵特製ゴールド貨物鶴を他社に先駆けて一般販売開始しました。And in 1958, we pioneered selling premium sake 大銀蔵ゴールド貨物鶴 at a time when people still didn't know what 銀蔵 or 大銀蔵 was. こちらは西条の町の冬の朝の景色です。えー、各酒造会社の蔵から、えー、虫舞いの湯気が立ち、えー、町が酒造りの雰囲気に包まれます。This picture shows what the winter morning looks like in Saijo. Morning in Saijo is beautiful with steam rising from the chimneys of each brewery, reminding you that you are in a town of sake. この西条は瀬戸内海から一山越えた盆地で標高214メートルあります。年平均気温も低く、冬には雪が積もる日もあります。西条 is located on the basin 214 meters above sea level. There is a mountain between the basin and the Seto Uchi inland sea. The average yearly temperature is as low as 13.5 Celsius. Which is 56.3 Fahrenheit. We sometimes have snow in the winter. Kamotsuru 以外にも Kamoizumi や Saijou Tsuru などアメリカで販売している蔵もあります There are eight breweries in Saijou, including Kamotsuru, within walking distance of each other, and some sake from other breweries, such as Kamoizumi and Saijou Tsuru, are available in the US too. カモツルがある町を簡単に紹介します。This is where we are located. 広島日本の西ですね、中国地方に位置する広島県のほぼ中央の中央に東広島市があり、その中心地が西条です。カモツル is located in 東広島 in the 中国 area in the western part of Japan. The central area of Higashi Hiroshima is Saijo, which is a town of sake breweries, as we mentioned in the previous slide. 
貨物路を含めた8社の酒造会社が徒歩圏内に密集している酒の町です。Yep. Uh, eight breweries uh, in the Saijo within walking distance. こちら貨物でのアクセスです。アクセスと貨物でこの西条は、奈良、伏見と並ぶ日本三大名城地とも言われた酒造りの町です。Saijo is known as one of the three biggest sake brewing regions, in addition to Nada in Kobe and Fushimi in Kyoto. Nansui Jo Zo Ho to you, a Atarashi Shizo Gilts, a Nihon Hats no Dolok Se Maiki, or Donu Stakoto, Mata Yutakana Chikasi Gattakoto, a Butsuru no Kaname de Attakoto Toga, a Saijo, Ichida Jo Zo Chinishimasta. There are four main reasons that make Saijo an ideal place for sake making. First, they invented a new brewing technique called the soft water brewing method. Secondly, they invented the first power driven rice polishing machine, allowing for higher polishing rates, ratio. And thirdly, there's plenty of soft water from the mountains nearby. Saijo was also a transportation hub, making it quick and easy to transport sake. Let's take a closer look at those facts in the following slides. A cold sweet air, Nada no Miami's to Chigai, a Hiroshima no Nan Sui de, a Ikani e Saki of Skur no Kato Kenki of Hasane, Nan Sui Jozo Ho Kakritsi. また、えー、県下の当時の育成にも派遣だのが、えー、三浦千三郎氏であります。Making sake with Hiroshima's soft water required its own technique, different from the technique used with Miyamizu, a hard water in the Nada region. 千三郎三浦 was the brewer who invented soft water brewing method. Miura gave much of his time educating the Hiroshima Toji Guild in his method. Nansui Jozo Ho, to you know, Kobo got Kapatni Katsudo Surtame, Wakameno, Kojo, Shio Surko Sini Krabete, Nansui Wa Kobo no Katsudo, Nibuitame, Komeno Naibuni Made, Hazekonda, Shikarista Kojo, Shio Shimas. So, what is the soft water brewing method? When sake is brewed with hard water, a lightly penetrated koji is used. Hard water is rich in minerals, which makes the yeast ferment vigorously. On the other hand, when sake is brewed with soft water, a more thoroughly, deeply penetrated koji, which is rich in enzymes and nutrients, is used. 米全体から酵母に十分な栄養分が溶け出してくるのを待っているよう仕込みの段階でじっくりと時間をかけ低温でゆっくりと発酵させる方法です。コージー brings more minerals to the east and minerals are the components that soft water lacks. By keeping temperatures low throughout the fermentation of the moromi and by extending the fermentation period, The rice is able to slowly dissolve while giving nutrients to the yeast. これは今の銀杏作りのベースともなり、今でもほとんど変わらない作り方で酒作りが行われています。Those techniques became the foundation of the Ginjo style brewing method. Miura's ideas and methods are still alive today. カモツル酒造の創業者でもある木村和平から動力式の精米機の開発を依頼され、1896年、佐竹製作所を設立し、日本初の動力精米機を考案しました。Now, this is a portrait of b e c h Satake, the engineer who invented Japan's first power driven rice polishing machine in 1896. At the request of Wahe Kimura, the founder of Kamotsuru.
、この動力式精,、ま、精米機の生産第1号を貨物類に納入し、生産販売を開始したのがこの佐竹氏です。佐竹 set up the very first machine he made in Kamotsuru and he continued improving his rice p o r i s h e s 現在この株式会社佐竹は世界トップシェアの精米機メーカーです。この高精白の技術をいち早く取り入れたことも広島のお酒が全国に知れ渡ることの一因となりました。Today, the Satake Corporation is a global giant that owns the largest share of the rice p o r i s h i n g market. Other breweries in Hiroshima also adopted this high tech machine in order to achieve higher rice polishing ratio than any other brewing regions in Japan. It made Hiroshima famous for its quality sake. 次に豊富な水についてですね、お酒の仕込みに使う水はすべて汲み上げた地下水を使用しています。山に降った雨水が長い年月をかけて地下水として流れてきます。Regarding water, all the water we use for brewing is the soft underground water from the nearby mountains. The rainwater falls in the Kamo mountain range, percolates through layers of granite, and flows as underground water. えー、豊富な水は、えー、良いお米も育てます。原料米はすべて、えー、広島県産の米を使用しています。Good water makes good rice. All the rice we use is local Hiroshima grown rice. We use Yamada Nishiki, Hattan, Hattan Nishiki, Hiroshima Nishiki, and other varieties of sake rice. 製造に責任を持つためにも、精米はすべて 100% 自社にて行っています。To ensure precise and responsible production of sake, we polish all the lies we use in house. 全国でも 100% 自家精米している酒蔵というのは減りつつあります。精米部合によって精米時間は異なりますが、長いものだと大吟醸用のお米は精米だけで100時間ほどかかります。The polishing time depends on the polishing ratio desired. For example, it takes about 100 hours to polish down the rice for 大吟醸酒。冒頭のビデオでも少しご覧いただきましたが、貨物ルには現在4人の当時がおります。As we've seen in the introduction video, there are four tojis at k a m o t s u r today. 製造の蔵が分かれており、蔵によってさまざまなお酒を作り分けています。They work in different breweries. Breweries also known as k u r a where they make different types of sake. 貨物流の伝統も守りつつ、新しい取り組みにも毎年チャレンジしています。While they preserve the traditional k a m o t s u r style sake, they also work to produce innovative style of sake every year. 後ほど、えー、沖縄当時には、えー、八五蔵の中を案内してもらいます。沖縄当時 will be leading us on our brewery tour later. えー、ここからは、えー、現在ロサンゼルスへ輸出している商品の紹介をさせていただきます。Now let's introduce some of our brands which are available in the US.1、えー、つ目は、えー、大吟醸の、えー、総括です。This is 大吟醸総括。広島県産の山田錦を、えー、32% まで、えー、精米し、手作りで醸した大吟醸酒です。華やかな香り、えー、すっきりした喉越しの中にも、えー、ふくよかな味わいがあります。Using Hiroshima grown Yamada Nishiki, the rice is polished down to 32%. This sake is brewed all manually. It has a fragrant aroma and a clear aftertaste with some richness. 
、乾杯のお酒や食前酒として最適です。カルパッチョやマリネ、柑橘系風味のものやアップルパイなど、コクのあるスイーツとも合います。Ideal for an aperitif. It also pairs well with marinated foods with citrus and rich sweets such as an apple pie. 次に1958年に大吟醸造りの先書きとして発売して以来貨物ツの看板商品でもある大吟醸特製ゴールド貨物ツです。Next is 大吟醸特製ゴールド。This is our flagship item that we first released in 1958 as a pioneer of 吟醸 style sake. 大吟醸としては香りは少し控えめですけどもしっかりとした味わいがあるのでさまざまな料理との相性の良い大吟醸です。It has a comparably modest ginjo aroma for a 大吟醸 sake with a good umami and it pairs well with many different types of foods. 味がしっかりとしておりますので大吟醸ですけどもぬるめにおかんしても美味しくいただけます。Unlike other daiginjo, this umami driven sake also tastes good when it's slightly warmed to around 120 Fahrenheit. Kanpai から dessert まで合わせる料理によって表情を変えながら寄り添うお酒です。特に寿司やお刺身などの魚介類との相性が抜群だと思います。From appetitive to digestive, it pairs well with a variety of foods. It especially goes well with seafood, such as sushi and sashimi. 180ml のボトルには2枚、720ml のボトルには4枚の桜の花びら型の金箔が入っており、ちょうどこの時期ですとバレンタインなどのギフトにもおすすめです。There are two cherry blossom shaped gold flakes in a 180ml bottle. And four gold flakes in a 720 milliliter bottle. This beautiful bottle makes the perfect Valentine's Day gift. Tsuru no Fufu to you, a Shoga, a Tomo, and Suru, no, the Nihon de Wake Konski, a Valentine, no, Engi no, you, Motif, to stay, Ipan, the key, this. Mata Nihon Shuni, a Hito, Hito, no, En, or Snagu, Chikaragari, to Sinji, Rari, to Ori, a Kekonski, no, Sinse, no, Bade, Gishi, to Stemo, no, Marimas. Kamo, Tsuru, no, Saka, a Cranes or tsuru are a popular motif for weddings since cranes mate for life. In Japan, sake is drunk during wedding ceremonies because we believe it has a sacred power to connect people. Therefore, Kamo Tsuru Toksei Gold will make a perfect Valentine's gift or anniversary present. For those who are wishing for everlasting love. こちら1958年に販売開始されて以来貨物ルの代表銘柄として成長してきましたこちらの写真は販売開始当初の広告です And here is a vintage promotional photo of a woman enjoying Dai Ginjo Tokse Gold As we mentioned, the sake was released in 1958 And being loved as our flagship sake. 2014年にアメリカ、オバマ元大統領が来日された際に、銀座の寿司の名店、月山次郎で会食されました。その際、飲まれたお酒がこの大吟醸特製ゴールド貨物です。When the former president of the United States, Barack Obama, visited Japan in 2014, He dined, he dined in Skibaya Shijiro, the legendary sushi bar in Ginza, Tokyo. Our Dai Ginjo Tokse Gold was served. We were thrilled at this increased exposure to the domestic and international markets. 国内国、海外含めてこの商品の認知がさらに高まった出来事でした。スキヤバジローの伝説の寿司職人小野次郎氏と大吟醸特製ゴールド貨物ルですスキヤバシジローでは日本酒は貨物ルのみを提供しております Here is a photo of Jiro Ono the chief excuse me the chef and owner of スキヤバシジロー the sushi bar list sake only from 貨物ル
、東京オリンピック開催,の開催中の昨年の7月ですね、アメリカのニュース番組、NBC Today に弊社を取材していただきました。カモツル was also featured on NBC Today during Tokyo Olympic Games 2020 last summer. 特派員とカメラクルーが実際に蔵にいらっしゃりまして、半日かけてじっくりと取材していただきました。オバマ大統領が召し上がったということで、ゴールドカモツルはスタジオでニュースキャプターにもお召し上がりいただきました。Their lip reporter and crew came to our brewery in Saijo and spent a good half day for coverage. In the broadcasting studio in Tokyo, reporters enjoyed tasting d a i g i n j o Tokusei Gold, the same sake which President Obama had. こちらは貨物流の新しい試みの商品で、一度は途絶えた酵母と酒米を使ったお酒で、純米大吟醸の広島錦と純米酒広島錦です。柑橘系の爽やかな風味のお酒です。Now, this is one of our innovative sake. 純米大吟醸広島錦 and 純米広島錦 brewed with revived yeast and also revived sake rice. This is refreshing sake with citrusy aroma. 1922年に貨物路から分離された教会5号工房という工房があります。これは1930年代には最も広く使われた工房となりましたが、現在は一般には販布されておりません。Back in 1922, the National Brewing Society isolated the Association East No. 5 from Kamotsuru. The East was most widely used in the 1930s but has vanished, being replaced by other Association East. Kamotsuru でもこの協会5号工房というのは長らく使っていませんでしたが、研究と試験醸造を繰り返し復活させました。2017年から日本で販売を開始しました。法人設立100周年都市でもありまして、またこのお酒では同じく復活させた広島錦という酒米も使用しております。In 2017, for our 100 year anniversary, we revived this East. After much research and many experiments, it is brewed with also revived sake rice, Hiroshima Nishiki. この二つのお酒というのはロサンゼルスにはまだ出荷しておりませんが、純米大吟醸酒の七百二十ミリはカナダとサンフランシスコへ出荷が始まったところです。純米大吟醸 Hiroshima Nishiki is available in seven hundred twenty milliliter bottles, and in Canada and San Francisco, California. 次に純米吟醸酒の一滴入魂です。The next item is 純米吟醸酒一滴入魂。純米吟醸ながら香りは少し控えめで味わいのあるタイプなので、冷やからおかんまで幅広い温度で食中酒としてお楽しみいただけます。There is a subtle 吟醸アロマ with a richness in flavor. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warmed to around 113 Fahrenheit. Dossi to Shita Umami to Balance no Tometa, Komiga Tokcho, this. Os, Onik to no pairing, a Tokuni, Osmeshmas. Coconut sauce of Shio Shita, Yori to Mo, Yokaimas. It works well with meat and dishes with Umami rich sauce. 次に生かこい純米です。Next is 生かこい純米。純米酒の生酒を瓶詰めし、瓶詰め後に温水にて一回火入れを行う生貯蔵酒です。Uh, this is a 純米酒、pasteurized only once in a hot water bath after bottling. This process is known as 生貯蔵 style. 生酒の風味を残しているので、フレッシュで爽やかな風味の冷酒向けのお酒です。生チョゾスタイルプレザーブスプレッシャー・クオリティーズ・オブ・ザ・サケアンド・サケイズ・ベスト・サーブ・チルドロサンゼルスにおいては300ミリのみ販売しております300ミリリッターボロースアベラボーインロサンゼルスクリーミーな味わいの料理や卵料理なんかともよく合いますチーズやチーズなんかもおすすめです It pairs well with creamy foods, eggs and cheese 最後に特別純米酒を紹介します。Lastly, this is our 特別純米
。このお酒は、もともとアメリカ輸出用に数十年前に発売したお酒で、途中でボトルのデザインは変わりましたけども、カモツルでは一番古くから輸出しているお酒です。It was exclusively made for the US market many decades ago. Though the design of the bottle has changed from the original one, this is the first sake that we shipped to the US. Junmai Shu no Gen Shu de no Kona Ajiwai Garu no de, Washoku Igai no Oili na Liori na Dot Tomo Awaserare Ru Shushu des. This is a full body and diluted Junmai sake. It goes well not only with Japanese cuisine but also with heavier foods. Here, from the can to the can, it is a very high temperature to enjoy it. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warm to around 113 degrees Celsius. Here, from the can to the can, it is a very high temperature to enjoy it. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warm to around 113 degrees Celsius. Here, from the can to the can, it is a very high temperature to enjoy it. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warm to around 113 degrees Celsius. Here, from the can to the can, it is a very high temperature to enjoy it. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warm to around 113 degrees Celsius. Here, from the can to the can, it is a very high temperature to enjoy it. It works well at a variety of different temperatures from chilled to warm to around 113 This is a full body sake with comparably higher alcohol by volume. The exquisite acidity washes the palate. Kaki and Kari, and rich in the taste of kailu and kokakuri, and the taste of 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 えー、以上が、えー、貨物ル酒造の概要の紹介でした。えー、ありがとうございます。Uh, thank you so much. That was an introduction to 貨物ル酒。And next is our brewery tour. 皆さん、お願いします。All right. <clears throat> so we have our brewery tour up next.、Uh, is 新谷さん and 沖永当時 ready? Oh, they're ready. <laughs> はい、大丈夫です。はい、お願いします。はい、じゃあ皆さんこんにちは。これからですね。これからですね。あの貨物ル酒造の蔵の中をご案内いたします。we're gonna show you inside of the brewery number eight of 貨物ル。こちらが私が担当している八号蔵になります。this is number brewery number eight。i'm in charge of。こちらの蔵ではあの貨物ルの伝統的なお酒を手作りで作っております。In this brewery number eight, we make sake, our traditional style of sake in manual, manual way. はい。で、はじめにですね、あのこちらの酒屋の蔵にはだいたいこの杉玉っていうものがあります。So that one, the first thing we notice here is 杉玉 a cedar bowl. こちらの意味はですね、あの新しい新酒ができましたっていうときにこうあの、釣り下げるっていう意味があります。Uh, this one is hanged when the new sake, the freshly,、uh, first sake of the new brewing season is made, we hang this sugidama up here. であの、新しく下げるときはあの緑なので、あのそれを見てお客様は新酒ができ,できたことをあの見て新酒を買いに来るっていう意味もあります。When it's hanged at the beginning of the brewing season, it's still green. And when the green cedar bowl appears, the customers or local people notice that now, the time, now is the season of new sake or fresh r e b i r t h sake. So it works as like a reminder for the customers. それではじゃあ蔵の中に入ります。Just get inside of the brewery now. <笑>こちらにも大きい杉玉があります。Up here is another 杉玉白子。一メートルぐらいあります。One meter in diameter. このような感じで。This is the first floor. はい、で、酒造りのまず一番最初の工程、原料処理室ですね、こちら。We are in the raw material processing room.、はい、で、まずはじめにですね、あの
米を洗います。千枚の工程でこの機械で洗うんですが。This is the rice washing machine. あのこちらが使う米になります。This is the rice cream.32% p o r i s h d o w n 山田錦。はい。米を洗って、その次にこちら、親戚タンクというあの米にお水を吸わせるタンクです。Up here is a tank for soaking rice grains in water. Then, after that, the water is drained. After soaking, the rice grains are drained, and then move on to the next pot here. This is the called Koshiki steaming pot. で下に下にが釜になってまして、こちらからあの蒸気を入れて、でちょっと今、中を<笑>見ますが、中、この穴がありますので、こちらから蒸気が入って、米が持たれます。スティームは、スティーム、ライジングフォンドボトムオブダコシキポット、アンドスティームは、コムスルー、ダホールフォンドボトムオブダコシキポット。That's how the rice cooked. はい、で、1日にだいたい2500キロのお米をこ,こちらで蒸します。2500 kilograms of rice cooked per day。ちょっと大きさをちょっと比較しますんで、あの新谷さんに入ってもらいます。大きさこのくらいです。Let us capture 新谷さん、ベア。はい。だいたい直径が 2.3 メートルぐらいありまして。2.3 meter in diameter. で、最大であの3トンのお米が一度に蒸せます。Uh, 3 tons of rice can be cooked tops. はい。で、貨物るはこの木でできた木製の古式にこだわっております。We use wooden bat. はい。これはどういうことかと言いますと、あの、保温効果があります。一つは。Wooden Wooden Koshiki bat.、Um, wooden Koshiki bat, bat excuse me,、um, はい、can hold heat inside. And then, the other one is the one that 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 is the That's why we use a wooden cookie bath. Then, after steaming, the rice will be carried out from the bath and move on to this cooling down machine. <笑>でこちらがあの高齢期の出口の方ですね。This is the other、uh, side of curling down machine. でお米はこちらに入ってこのシューターというホースでですね。あの風と一緒にこう空想で各部屋に送ります。This tube is attached to the other end of cooling down machine so that the steam lights now blown into other rooms through this tube. Might remind you good old pneumatic, pneumatic tubes. はい、じゃあ続きまして次の工程に。We're going to move on to the next room. Going to upstairs. We are on the second floor. で酒づくあの2階にはですね酒造りの大切な2つの工程ですねあの麹作り麹を作る麹室というものがあります
。The upstairs we have koji making room. でもう一つはですね、酵母菌を、まあ、培養する酵母室、酵母室ですね。酵母室があります。And we also have east, east starter making room. であとまあ、日本的なこの神棚ですね。神様。Up here we have a miniature Shinto shrine, which is called Kamidana, in which, a,、uh, in which the deity of Sake is enshrined. We're going to take a look at inside the Koji making room. There is another Kamidana. Little、uh, miniature shrine. Yeah, Naka in Hagima. Tobira g a n i j u n i n a t We got double door. <laughs> well, we are inside of the Koji making room, and actually, the entrance door is very small. I actually hit my head. The Sakihodo Horeki Kara, the Shuta, the Ochirano, the Ano Kadona, the Sana, Ochira Kara, the Shuta, the Hai Tekimash, the Well, the air shooting tube from the downstairs will be connected, the other side of the tube connected to this tube in the Koji making room. And how the, this is how the steam light is carried into Koji making room. The Koji Rano Dai no Ueni Dai Dai Ma, each Nishin is named Gohak Kilo no Mushima Yo Ilema. 100 kilograms of steamed rice will be carried in onto this table every day. Um, we spread evenly the steamed rice onto the table and we、um, put koji mold spores, koji spores on the rice. コウジ菌を振りまして、だいたい2日間でコウジが出来上がりますので、あの2日間経ちますと室から出します。We give koji two days to、uh, cultivate, and then after two days we carry the dice out from the koji making room. じゃあ室から出ます。Sorry, Shintani san, is it possible for you to show Okinaga Toji next to the door? Shintani san, I know Okinaga Toji, I know Koji no Koji Muro no Iriguchi no door, no Yokoni Tatemora Koto, Yokoni Tatemora. Hi. So, Okinaga san no, hi, Okinaga san no size can to door no size can ga, Moshi Mireta, I don't know. こんな感じでわかりますでしょうか。ちょっとあの膝を縮めてます。立つとこんな感じ。立つとこんな感じ。He can't stand straight. See now. So, so when we first saw this, I noticed the doors were very short or very small, and I asked him, "Are you just tall or are the doors small?" And he's he kind of said both. He's about six feet tall, and these doors I think are about maybe. Five, five feet or something like that? Right. The average Japanese people,、ah, but still, those doors are pretty small. 
Um, and we have, a, I had the same question, but Richard Nakano asked, why are the doors so short? あの、まあ、あの、昔の人はそんなに、まあ、私があの、体が大きいっていうのがあるのですけど、一つは。で、あとはまあ、なるべくこう、出入り口を小さくしてですね。あの、要は中の気温が30度ぐらいなんですか。
is a shortcut route for the crown prince. Where's the regular entrance? あの、モロミ、モロミ室のこう他の入り口ってあるんでしょうか。モロミ室に入る。あ、入る。通常のあの作業員が入るのはこちらになる。こちらになります。こちらの階段になります。あ、階段になるんですが、あの天皇陛下
case is actually not good. Uh, the bottom five steps are concrete made. And from the six steps to the rest of the staircase is original structure, which is wooden. So that the wall, you can see the wall, the white part is concrete. Which is that a uh, you know, added part, elevated, adding part of the original structure. And from, you can see the wooden uh, poles. Uh, that, uh, okay, so again, the, the bottom white part is concrete, which is added part of the structure. And wooden part is actually the original structure of the brewery. あの、あげた分ですね、コンクリートになってるので、あの、白割りの被害もないっていうメリットもあります。So because we have concrete at the bottom of the structure right now, it works prevent termite termites to you know uh, damaging the original structure. で、もう一つのメリットはあの、天井が高いので非常に作業がしやすいという and then the ceiling is higher than it used to be, so it works better for the jamming the pole in the Moroni tank. We are in the special room for Daiginjo Sake, and that is the last Moroni tank of the season, right here. Tomorrow we are going to place this. Tomorrow marks 30, day 34 of the Moromi. It smells so good, super fruity. I wish we could share the scent. I can't see it. I can't Pineapple aroma, it gives. So that was the live tour from brewery number eight. And it doesn't what we what are we going to do? Do we move on to the QA section or do we accept some questions right here? Um yeah, we we have some questions actually. So for the building um that concrete part, did they dig down? and then add the concrete or did they like lift the building up does that make sense ano ano hai takasa wo ageru toki itte ano tatemo no zentai wo ikkai mochi ageta tte koto de shou ka ano nihon ni hiki ya tte yu bizutsu ga aru desu kedo kekeke ko ko jakki wo ano ippai jakki wo tsukatte ko zentai wo wo mochi ageru tte yu bizutsu ga aru uh, they actually uh, lifted entire building. This is called hikia, the traditional Japanese carpentry method. They jack up the building and added the concrete bottom part to it. Thank you. So in a, in a sense, lift. <laughs> mm. um, okay. So let's see. There's a couple of questions. So for Toji-san, um, what type of rice do you feel more comfortable working with? Considering the softness of Hiroshima water. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
、私は今、こちらの蔵で、まあ、ゴールド貨物流を主に作ってるんですが、あのー、発端35号っていうお米を使ってます。こちらは、あのー、まあ、あのー、原料処理値も割れにくいですし、で、比較的味の方もですね、すっきりした味のお米なので、私はそちらを、まあ、気に入ってます。I prefer Hattan Sanju Gogo rice, sake rice.、Uh, we are making gold kamotsuru in February number eight, and I found Hattan Sanju Gogo is easy to work because it won't crack during the polishing, and then it also gives a clear taste. So I prefer that. Great.、Um, so I just I don't want to keep them out too long because it. I heard it was cold today. So, did they want to return to the office first and then answer some more questions? Or? Shintani san, it o of tari os samui to moi maso no de, it o ko ima kara QA uke tsukeru tame ni, chuto basho o henko sare maso ka, office no ko to ka. Ah, so no ho. Ah, so shimasu. Onegai shimasu. Onegai shimasu. Hai, kyo QA section de o matchi shite maso. Ah, ii. Shimasu ogai. So, it's, it's a little cold outside、um, today, so we're going to let them return to the office and then、uh, finish the QA section. I do have a question that's, that's、uh, asking Are all of Kamutsuru sake drip pressed? I don't think so because we saw earlier in the video、um, with a, a day trip to Kamutsuru, there was the Asaku press, right? And you even saw that. Um, really nice pressed down sake, sake cake or sake, sake leaves, right? Sake kasu? Sorry. <laughs>、um, so, not all of them, I think, are drip pressed, but some of them are, which we did see them hanging up in the second video.、Uh, you know, I used to live in Hiroshima when I was young、uh, for like a couple of years. And I didn't know、uh, Hiroshima was so cold because it's you know, a little bit southward than you know,、uh, Tokyo. And I thought, you know, it's going to be a little bit warmer. It's not warm. It's、uh, in、uh, elevation, it's very high, especially at Saijo. And I didn't know you can ski there in the mountain. There is a <laughs> ski resort in Hiroshima. I, I, I you know, I was, that was kind of surprising for me. But yeah, it, it's not really warm. It's, it's get really cold there. And I mean, yeah, Kaoru san and Kobayashi san told us the average temperature, and it was like 55 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. That's pretty cold. Pretty cold. And、uh, Shintani san says this morning,、uh, Saijo is like minus four Celsius degree, which、mm. is 24.8 Fahrenheit.、Oh. And a few days ago, they had a little snow, but this morning they don't have snow, but it's pretty cold. So amazing that there are so many things that you haven't seen. And, you know, in this, uh, uh, especially、uh, Kamotsuru, you know, you see the secret doors and long staircases. And, you know, the koshiki is a wooden koshiki,、uh, uh, the wooden bat. It's very unique. And, you, and the, he explained very well why he's using the、uh, wooden bat because of the you know, retention of the heat and also、mm-hmm. absorb the excess、uh, water. You know, that, and, and also, you know, many,、uh, like last 20 years, many people start using stainless steels. And, but now, wooden butt and wooden、uh, tank is getting popular now, coming back. You know, it's, it's very hard to clean up because, you know, because you don't want to have a, bio, a microbiological、uh, infection. But now、uh, it's coming back. I mean, a wooden tank is coming back and Koshiki is like a, a、yeah. Koshiki is doing. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's getting interesting now more and more. It's,、mm. And you learned that today too. So it's great. Okay, I think we were able to hear the Toji song. Did you guys want to try? Okay, perfect. Good. <laughs> okay.、Um, so, okay, next question is since the other agricultural product of Hiroshima is potatoes, are you guys making shochu? あの広島ではあのジャガイモの生産も有名だそうですが、はいはい、焼酎は作っておられますか？あの弊社ですか？はい。あ広島県でですか？いやえ鴨、ー、鶴さんです。あ鴨鶴はあの焼酎は一切作ってない。あのリキュールは作ってます。リキュールどうどういった商品でしょうか？えっ、ー、と梅酒です、ね。あ
、うん、あのお酒を使って普通は焼酎で梅をつけるんですけどあの純米酒を使った梅酒が人気です。We don't, we don't make shochu,、uh, but we, have, we make rikyo,、uh, umeshu, or pram wine.、Uh, usually, pram wine is made with shochu, you know, soaking pram in shochu. That's the standard way to make it. But in our case, we use jumaishu to、uh, put in pram. Plums in Jumaishu and make Umeshu Rikyo, and it's very popular. Okay.、Um, okay.、Uh, there's actually really a lot of great questions, but the next question is going to be from Joel. So he says, I noticed that several of the products, including the Tokse Gold, refer to multiple yeasts used. What is the reason to use multiple yeast varieties in one sake, and how does that affect the brewing process? あのいくつかの商品で、えっと、酵母をですね何種類かこう使っているということに気づきましたなぜ数種類の酵母を1つの商品に使うのでしょうかでそれが作りにどのように影響するのでしょうかえー、っとですねまああの酵母っていうのは、まあ、単品でもいいんですけどちょっと私のこだわりがありましてあの、まあ、香りを作り出す酵母とあと、まあ、酸ですね酸をまあ特徴として、まあ、酸をよく出す酵母とであと1種類まあ味わいを出す酵母が、まあ、ゴールドに関しまして、まあ、3種類の酵母を使ってますでそちらをまあまあはい。はい um, right. uh, so I think the、uh, one type of、uh, yeast alone works okay But by mixing some types of cobo or yeast, it works each,、uh, each yeast works differently. A cobo gives a good aroma, and the other cobo gives a good acidity, and the other cobo will give a good body to it. So in Go to Kamusuru, we use three types of yeast. Okinawa san, go to. あのやはりこう強い酵母菌弱い酵母菌があるのでそれをまあバランスよくこうやるためにまあ単独でこう3種類の酵母を仕込んで,で絞ったお酒をブレンドして1つのゴールドを保つという商品になっています。So, um... <clears throat> well, uh, yeast is obviously it's not、uh, visible at all. So,、uh, we may... One batch with this type of cobo, and we make this batch with that type of cobo, and we make third batch with the third type of cobo, and make the moromi, make the yeast cider upon the yeast type, and then we blended it. That's how we brew、uh, this kind of sake. Hi. でまあ、あの大吟醸今の大吟醸と比べてちょっと香りを低めにしましてであとまあ味もあまり強すぎてで適度な酸があってで、まあ、あの合わせる料理の食材を邪魔しないような抽出を目指して作っています。Uh, we try the balance, keep the balance between the flavor and aroma and body and acidity. And that's how it works. <laughs> yes, that was a great answer.、Um, and just want to clarify so, the reason they separate the、uh, yeast originally. Um, is because some yeasts are stronger than the others. So if they put them all together, like one yeast might fight out, out produce and kind of take up all the room and maybe even kill the other yeast. So that's why they brew separately.、Um, <laughs> Gordon says, We're so lucky to get so much time from the Toji when he is so, so busy. So thank you for answering our questions. There's a couple more.、Um, are they okay on time? お二人お時間まだ大丈夫でしょうか。あ,あ、大丈夫です。大丈夫。Okay. Great. <laughs>、uh, Gordon asks, 
does Toji san use koon toka shubo? Koon toka shubo te sare masu ka? Ah, eto desu ne. Ichibu no ma dai gin jo de yari masu ga, ano, yari kata wa deki masu. Kada, ano, watashi no kura de a ima yatte nai. Ano, mukashi wa yatte ta koto mo ari. In brewery number eight, we are not doing、uh, koon toka right now, but、uh, I, I experienced it. Yes, I used to experience it. He can do it. <laughs> <laughs>、um, and what is the special element that you use in your tokubetsu junmai? So, what, what makes the tokubetsu junmai tokubetsu? Does that make sense? Uh, 特別純米についてお聞きしますどういった点が特別なんでしょうかあの昔はですね、こう、旧別制度といって、まあ、それあの、国税局が主催してる、あの、まあ、あの要はこう、コンテストではないですけど、その年の,あの出来具合をこう評価する制度がある。So,、uh, we used to have Qubit Seido or、uh, the type of sake classification、um, certi- uh, made by the National Tax Bureau. This is Cupid Sedo, is an old、uh, classification of types of sake. And when, in, in back in old days, when the sake won the Yuto Show or you know,、uh, awarded in the an- annual competition of sake. The recipe of this sake is、uh, now called, is called、uh, Tokubetsu. And so, in that sense,、uh, Tokubetsu, Junmai's Tokubetsu, means the award winning in the old system of sake creation. So, that, that's how Tokubetsu it is. Okay. It's really interesting because, you know,、uh, Kamotsuru Tokubetsu Junmai, I remember when I、uh, entered this company,、uh, they had a A tasting by a journalist in Los Angeles, including, including LA Times. And we, you know, there are so many,、uh, around 50 different kinds of sake was submitted. And actually, Kamotsuru Tokubetsu Juma was number one. And the, the reason why it was, it was like the mouth feels and richness and, you know, that a nice fruity、uh, character that it has. And it beat it other Daiginjo, even though this is Tokubetsu Juma. It was, it was, you know, I, and, and, people,、uh, and people enjoyed, and all those、uh, journalists and、uh, the sommelier liked that, that、uh, Kamotsuru Tokubetsu Junmai.、Uh, Okinaga-san, Ueno-san, when you were in the middle of the day, Los Angeles, the Nihon Shu no Kompe, got the Koto Kyokushi, and the Kamotsuru no Tokubetsu Junmai, and the Kano Dai Ginjo, the Ginjo Plus, and the Osaka, and the Yori Mo. 現地のジャーナリストやジャッジに、はい、あの大変な好評を得たということをよく覚えていますということです。ありがとうございます。<笑> Thanks for sharing that. Okay, and、um, just a little bit more clarification on what makes the Tokubetsu Junmai special.、Uh, looking at the specs of this, it is polished down to 60%. So I would say, in modern terms, that's probably what makes it special.、Um, okay. Uh, let's see. I have maybe two more questions. So, what, how many bottles does Kura number eight、um, create in a year? And how many bottles does Kamotsuru produce in a year? I don't know if he'll know these answers, but. Eto, say, San Lyon, you say, to Kiki Stein, this is a. なんか何本ぐらい生産がありますかとあと貨物る全体で何本ぐらいというような聞き方をされていますがどうですかね国高とかでも分かるようだったら、えー、と貨物る全体ですと大体1万石ですねあの
1万石。あの製造量ですと、はい、大体1万2千石ぐらい。私はこの会社に、はい、全体で。そう、あ、entire カムツル produce、あ、twelve thousand 国ク、per year。one one 国ク、by the way is hundred eighty liters、which is about vast half size。approximately。一点八リットル瓶で、ね、で、百万本です。あのちなみに古式倒しっていつでしょうか、はい、それから古式倒しってどういう意味ですか古式倒しというのはまず意味からですね。古式倒しというのは先ほどの,あの、まあ、木の桶がありますね、蒸す。結局はあの最後の仕込みを終えたらもう蒸す作業がないじゃないですか。でそれであそこの釜の上から古式を、まあ、下ろすの。なので、まあ、古式が倒れるっていう意味合いがあります。The first meaning of 古式倒し。The 古式倒し is to,、uh, you know, t i p l e the、uh, 古式 wooden bed. 古式 is the steaming wooden bed we just saw in the tour. And that is when, when the final batch of brewing finished, you don't need the 古式 anymore, right? For season is almost over. So after You know, setting up the final batch, you remove the koshiki out from the oven, the steaming oven. So that's what the koshiki daoshi is, the end of the brewing season. It's the shock. ああ、えっと、そしたら、あれですか、仕込みの時期が長引いたっていうことですか。四月の中旬ぐらいになります。ああ、えっと、そしたら、あれですか、仕込みの時期が長引いたっていうことですか。ああ、えっと、そしたら
Um, and we also had them specifically take take it back out and like put it on top of the steamer area so that they could show us. <laughs> I also had them take out the tubes. Um, so thank you so much. <laughs> Once I heard that they shot rice through tubes, I was like, I need to see the tubes. So we had them take those out for us. <laughs> Um, okay, you know what? We are 30 minutes over, but we have a really nice last question, I promise, to end this session with. Um, this is from Isao-san. What does Toji-san consider more important? The technique, the rice, or the yeast? Technique, rice, or yeast? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, え、の工程を丁寧にやって一つのこう作品に作り上げるっていう意味で私はまあ米とかも酵母とかも大事なんですけどやっぱりそこの蔵の中で一緒に働くあの人の輪を一番大切にしてもよろしいでしょうか So um none of the above but I take uh, harmony the most important uh there is a Japanese saying it's wajo ryo wajo ryo shu the harmony makes good sake and you know uh, sake making process is not about done by uh, you know one person but all the brewers all the you know brewers work together to make a good sake and each of them take responsibility for each part they take and without that contribution and you know dedication sake won't be made in a good uh, sense. So it's like an art they work together to make. So uh, how many the best to be considered? Thank you. Fantastic answer. Okay, all right, great. That was a great ending, um, great question, great answer. So thank you guys. Uh, I know we're 34 minutes over, um, but you know, there's just so many things that we wanted to show you and so many things like answering all your questions as much as possible. So thank you for sticking with us. Um, does anybody from Kamotsuru have any last words for us? Kamotsuru no team no minasama, nani ka saigo ni go aisu tsu ga areba o negai ita shimasu. Ah, to, ma, ano, watashi domo, ma, kono korona no jokyo desu ka ne, ano, taihen na jiki desu ke domo, yahari, ano, nambatte ii osake o tsukutte masu no de, ano, amerika no minasama mo, uh, with this horrible COVID hit, we are having a tough time, but we we uh, keep doing uh, our efforts to make a good sake and hope the customers over there uh, enjoy Komotsuru sake too. Thank you so much. Does Kobayashi-san have anything to say? Hey, uh, thank you very much. 一人でも多くの人にカモツルのことを知ってもらえたらあの嬉しいです。またあの次回ロサンゼルス行けるのを楽しみにしてます。Thank you so much for joining us today, and I want you uh, more people get to know Kamotsuru Sake, and I'm looking forward to the next opportunity to visit Los Angeles. Uh, Shintani-san, do we, do you, Shintani-san, do you have any comment? あ、ありがとうございました。あの、どうか皆さん日本酒をたくさん飲んでください。ありがとうございます。Thank you so much and hope you enjoy Kamotsuru sake. Thank you. All right. Ueno-san, do you have any last words? Sure. Uh, thank you everyone, especially Kamotsuru team. Kobayashi-san, Okinawa-san, Shintani-san, thank you so much. And also, of course, you know, again and again and again, many uh, audience uh, uh, attended this seminar. Thank you so much. 
I'm pretty sure that uh, you guys learned a new thing. Uh, uh, even though you've been planning through this webinar uh, many times, and uh, I think you should visit Hiroshima. You know, Hiroshima has uh, so many uh, unique besides Kamotsuda. I think you should visit uh, Kamotsuda to taste sake. But you know, they have oyster, okonomiyaki, and uh, their lama is really good too. So there, you know, they have a ocean, a Seto, Seto Naikai, uh, uh, Sen, uh, ocean, and they have a really nice seafood too. So definitely visit Kamotsuda and then go to uh, eat out. Very good <laughs> restaurant there. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and as you can see, Kaoru san has a, a little bottle. Uh, is that a souvenir from when you went to Kamotsuda? It's a miniature um, size of uh, Kamotsuda Gold. Uh, Tokusei Gold. And I hope you enjoy it. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, look out for the follow up email. There's going to be some information on the history of the Tokusei Gold and how you can uh, enjoy the gold flakes in different ways and how to use that. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Hi, it's Ida with Sake School of America. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up or we will hold your sake hostage. This is evidence. If you want to see more content from us, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get the latest updates when we upload our videos. And if you want to let us know what to cover next or if you have something nice to say, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to see more from our Brewery Spotlight series, be sure to check out the playlist. We'll see you next time.